This is Arizona's most popular lake cliff, and this is the strongest magnet I could find on the internet. I'm here to drop this magnet down to the bottom of the lake and see how much treasure I can pull up. Oh, dude. <laughs> I just got my first Apple Watch. Oh, dude, it's on. I grew up jumping off this cliff, and I've learned the hard way that when you hit the water from that 40-foot jump, there's a good chance you're going to lose stuff. Yesterday was Senior Ditch Day, and I've never seen this cliff so busy, which means today this spot is probably loaded with treasure. My favorite part of treasure hunting, though, is returning things back to their owners, so make sure to watch the whole video to see me return anything I can. All right, that treasure's not going to find itself. Let's go. All right, guys, first cast of the day. Wish me luck. Hey, there's something on there. Oh, dude, not one, but two earrings. Check that out. Eventually today, I think we're gonna pull up something real nice. I want a phone or a Apple watch or a Garmin watch. That would make my day. Oh my God. This is the third cast of the day and I have another piece of jewelry. Check that out, guys. Nice. You know what this little thing is? That's a pin to a watch, which means the watch might be down there. I gotta find that watch. Three. What we got, guys? <laughs> this is the absolute mother load. I've never pulled this much up on a single throw of a magnet. I got a gold chain necklace, which obviously is not gold because it stuck to this magnet, but it might be gold plated. Dude, how beautiful does that look though? Oh my gosh, and then I got another necklace. Oh, it's like a bracelet. And then I got this earring. Three pieces of jewelry on one cast. This is my new favorite magnet. <laughs> it's so, oh my gosh, dude, another piece. <laughs> there goes our suppliers. Dropping all the stuff I'm finding. So my new friend Kaysen here is going to uh, throw this in and I bet you he's gonna pull up something better than I found all day, because that's usually my luck. Oh, that was a beautiful cast. I think he's I think he's gonna get something good, guys. Nothing. Hey, you got a bobby pin, dude. <laughs> Alexis is gonna give it a try. Oh, she's gonna go this way. There you go. Oh. I, I, I got it, I got it. <laughs> okay, let's see what it is. Nothing. I see something on there. Hey! She got two bottle caps. That's better than you got. You got one piece of trash. You got two pieces of trash. <laughs> well, thanks for your help, guys. Yeah. Give me a little break. Three. We got something, guys. What is it? Oh, it's a battery. What's well, the electronic that was that this battery was in? That's what I want to find. If I throw three inches to the left of what I just threw, I might find something crazy. That's the crazy thing about magnet fishing. You just don't know how close you came to something. Three. Dude, I see something on the bot. Oh, what is this? It's a pair of car keys. What? Check this out. Oh my gosh, a pair of car keys. I've never found a pair of car keys with magnet fishing. Uh, important tip on magnet fishing. So instead of just pulling the magnet, watch what I do. I kind of like tug it along like this. It makes the magnet kind of hop along the mud at the bottom of the lake. Make sure that you don't accidentally miss something. Oh, dude, I got some stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, is that a knife? Oh, dude, I got a knife. No way. That is strong. Ooh, that's got to be stainless steel. Look at how strong it is. Is that a murder weapon? It's a Kershaw knife. AKA a Walmart knife. But yeah, check this out. Look at this. Ooh, that's definitely a murder weapon. It's got blood all over it. The first weapon of the day. I think there's gonna be more down there. Let's see what this is. Oh, another pair of, and a ring. Oh no, yeah, it's an earring. Dude, that's crazy. Two pairs of car keys already. Hey, dude, I, I finally got an earring with the diamond still inside. Look at this. 
That is a $2,000 diamond. If it was real. I don't think that it's real because it's got a rusty iron little cage on it, but it's pretty, pretty cool to find a little diamond. I think I've done this like maybe four times. This is my fifth time and I've already had more success than I've ever had in my whole career of magnet fishing. craziest thing it's still on I can't believe it that's so crazy if I can get it unlocked I can get it back to its owner it says hold press and hold the crown to turn off water lock keep holding oh it's shooting the water out the side injecting water look at that you see that shooting the water out okay oh there's a passcode dang it this is gonna be difficult to find the owner guys usually unless there's one more chance let's see if we do this if we go like this and hold this down, or no, we, no, no, we hold this down. Yes, there's a medical ID. That means I can get their own, the contact information. So if we go here, there it is. And we go, there's the phone numbers. Guys, I'm getting this back to the owner today. Keep on watching to see me call the, the mom or the dad of this owner of this watch. Hey papi, I am a guy who just found your girlfriend's uh, Apple watch. Uh, give me a call back. I want to get it back to her. One. Two, three. Whoa, dude, I got my first ring. No way. I did not expect to find a ring down there. So it's gotta be a stainless steel ring. Always a good feeling to find a ring though. Man, no metal detector needed. That's awesome, guys. Whoa, dude. What the heck? It's a full necklace with the tendon on it oh wow i'm shocked that it stayed on oh because it, it was attached to the actual clasp look at that okay it has it, oh it has uh writing on the side it says pewter does that mean this is made of pewter or is that the guy's name that's a cool find Whoo! it is a hot day and check out this awesome grotto that i just found dang look at this Whew, let's sit down just for a sec so a lot of you guys in the comments over the years have told me that a big reason why you come back to watch my videos on a regular basis is just to relax and just de-stress after a long day of work. I get that because I do the same thing with other channels on YouTube, uh, but sometimes it's not quite enough for me to just escape. Sometimes I need to deal with life, you know? Um, and so a couple of years ago, I found something that has forever changed the way that I deal with stress, and that thing is called talk therapy. For the longest time, I wanted to try talk therapy, but it seemed like this thing that was gonna be super expensive and time consuming and just like impossible to find the right therapist that I could open up to and feel comfortable with. That's why I'm excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor. This one's close to my heart, BetterHelp. So in 2021, uh, I saw some ads for BetterHelp and I decided I'm gonna finally try online talk therapy and you guys I'm not exaggerating when I say I felt like a caveman who had just discovered fire the way the best way I can describe it is like this I kind of think of my brain as like a house and the thoughts are like the things in my house right well uh, prior to talk therapy my house was just constantly cluttered messy and chaotic and then when I found talk therapy I, it was like I hired somebody to come in and help me declutter and get organized for the first time in my entire life regularly processing through my thoughts and problems has become like second nature to me at this point it's like brushing my teeth honestly but it has made a huge impact and I just want to see more people discover how much better life can be once the decluttering process begins <laughs> Sounds like me flushing the toilet 50 times. <laughs> BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy affordable and convenient for everybody, and I think they're crushing their goal because that was the whole reason I tried therapy in the first place, was because it was convenient, affordable, and I could easily switch therapists until I found the right one for me at no additional cost. If you have anything interfering with your happiness or preventing you from reaching your goals, try talk therapy. Whether you're dealing with a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a human who's going through a hard time like we all do, therapy can give you a new set of tools that'll help you to 
approach life in a completely different way. With BetterHelp, it is so easy to sign up and get matched with your therapist. Just click the link down in my description or go to betterhelp.com slash manriver. When you click my link, you'll be helping out my channel, which I really appreciate, but you'll also be getting 10% off of your first month with BetterHelp, so you can connect with your therapist and see what it can do for you. Thanks again to BetterHelp for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And now it's time to go find what else we can get out of this lake. I've already found one Apple Watch. Let's see what else is down there. All right, this is the first cast in the new spot. So let's see what kind of stuff we pull up on this spot. It's kind of big. Oh, what is this? Is it a backpack or a chair? Ah, oh, <laughs> half of a chair, guys. Got a chair. It's half of a chair anyway. You found yourself a nice bobbed earring. You know what, I'm feeling really generous today. I'm gonna let you keep it. You're gonna let me keep this. Subscribe. Don't break off, please. Ugh. I think I gotta go down. Whatever this was, it was the heaviest thing I'd found all day and I didn't want it to break off and so I had to climb down the rocks to get a different angle on it. Don't, don't, don't. Oh. It's a, it's a folding chair, dude. It's a folding chair. Oh, no, like, push me. Nice. Woo! Woo! Whoa! We got a giblet. Giblet, giblet. My son has some Crocs. He loves these things. My <laughs> son's gonna be happy today, guys. Oh, dude! I just got a bracelet. Oh, really? Check it out. It's a magnetic little bracelet. That's oh, kind of wow. cool. Remember, guys, everything I find today that I can't return back to its owner, I'm giving away. Everybody that places an order on manplusriver.com for the year of 2023 gets a piece of river treasure or lake treasure that I found. So uh, make sure and place your orders before the end of the year, guys. Pretty cool little find here, guys. Another earring. Oh, what is this? What the heck? What is that? There is a hole through the middle. I, I cannot decide what I'm looking at here, guys. So leave a comment down below if you can tell me what I'm looking at, what I found. Dude, I just got a, another ring. Looks like it's either a tungsten or a titanium. I don't see a marking on there, guys, but it looks like a men's uh, either wedding ring or just a ring. The uh, total of jewelry keeps on climbing. Man, this is crazy how much jewelry I'm finding. I'm finding more jewelry than I find with a metal detector on an average hunt. So this is a lot of fun, guys. If you're having fun, please leave a big thumbs up on the video. It really helps my videos out when you do that. Also, if you want to see videos like this, make sure you guys are subscribed. I just found out something crazy. Only about 12% of my views come from subscribed viewers. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more. We've got a lot more videos just like this coming out this summer, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. All right, guys, let's keep on looking. Dude, check this out. I got a, is that a peso, a Mexican peso? I got a Mexican peso out here of all places. That's crazy. Here, I can make it walk all the way off my hand. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Got it. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Mexican peso, guys. Oh. What a crazy day of magnet fishing, guys. This is the best magnet fishing I've ever done by far. All right, it's time to try to contact the owner of this uh, Apple Watch. Let's see if we can reach Papi, their boyfriend. So I'll try to call him first, and then if they don't answer, which they probably won't because it's an unknown number, then I'll try to text him. Tell him, please record your message. Hey, Papi. I am a guy who just found your girlfriend's uh, Apple Watch. Uh, give me a call back. I want to get it back to her. That'd be cool. All right, let's see if they call back. I might just send a text to you real quick. Okay, he just texted back. He said, no way. And he's typing right now. <laughs> All right, he's uh, someone's calling me. Let's see if they answer. Let's see who it is. Hello? 
Hi, my name's Cassie. I was told you guys found my watch. Hey, Cassie. Yes, I did. Is it, is it still working? Yeah, it's still fully powered on and everything. Do you want to FaceTime real quick? I can show you the watch. Yeah, I can FaceTime. Cool. Here. Hi. Is this the Hi. is this the right watch? Yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. I lost it yesterday. You lost it yesterday? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I'm actually flying back to Texas tomorrow. So uh, do you have time to meet today? Yeah. I will uh, talk to you guys very soon and get this back to you, okay? Awesome, thank you so much. You're, I crack. you're welcome, I'll, I'll see you guys very soon. Hey. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh. it's still powered on, which is crazy. But you just dropped it yesterday, you said? Yeah, okay, so it was like the tallest cliff too. It's like 60 yes. feet. Yeah, so we looked back on the video and it was off my hand by the time I came out the water. You have a video of this? Yeah. There's like no damage to it. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's back. back. Tan on. line's covered. Nice. <laughs> Have All a right. safe flight. Thank you very much. Thank we'll see you guys know. later. Well, I love myself an adventure, and that was nothing short of an adventure. If you guys like the video, please help me out. Leave a big thumbs up on the video. I really would appreciate that. Make sure to subscribe, ring that bell, and then click right here to join me on my next adventure, and I will see you guys there.